your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button this video is about growing organic celery indoors to full maturity now I've grown celery to full maturity outdoors and I was very successful and I grew them in containers however I'm gonna attempt to grow celery stalks to full maturity I'm continuing my adventure on growing food indoors. So I am testing a lot of different crops to determine how well I can grow indoors, what are the challenges, and what course corrections I may be able to take for next winter season. When the pandemic hit, I decided to determine what other foods I can grow indoors. So I decided to um, attempt to grow these celery plants indoors to full maturity. Celery needs about 130 to 140 days to mature between seeding seedlings and harvest. So this puts me right about April of 2021. Since celery is frost sens sensitive, it will still be too cool to transplant these celery plants uh, outdoors in my growing zone. I am growing these two celery plants from the base of a grocery store organic celery stock. This particular celery is actually a second generation and this was the celery I harvested this past summer. Check out the card above so you can see the success of those um, two celery stalks I harvested and I took that celery base and I actually started regrowing it. And that's why I have it labeled celery second generation November 20th. So I'm really, really excited about seeing how this is going to come out because this is actually from my own celery that I actually grew from a celery stock base. But this is what I was able to grow to maturity. What you want to do is you want to cut off the base, as you can see this one here, and you want to set it in a bowl of water. You want to either, when you soak it, you want to either put it in a sunny window or in my case, I have it under a grow light because I do not have a sunny window. You do want to change the water regularly. If you don't, what you're going to end up is this cloudy water like this. I left this like this so you can see. And you don't want that because the roots are, were rot and so would the celery base rot. So this is only, this water in here is only two days old and it's already cloudy. So I'm going to go ahead and change it right after this video. So I recommend you change the water approximately every two or three days. And um, again, place it near a sunny window and make sure that the cut part of the stock is facing upward. Celery needs a minimum of five to seven hours of full sun every single day. So make sure you pick a bright sunny window. In my case, I have it growing under a grow light and my grow light stays on at least 10 hours a day and it automatically shuts off and automatically comes on. So it's gonna get the daily cycle. You do wanna keep your celery well watered. Same practice when you grow outdoors, you want to use that same practice when you're growing indoors. The soil should be constantly moist. Without moisture, the plants will struggle to produce rich, healthy celery um, stalks. I am aware that celery are heavy feeders and must have a constant supply of nutrients. No different than growing indoors, more so now because they're not outdoors. This is a um, potting soil and those nutrients will eventually drain out of the container so you do want to apply fertilizer regularly I just put fertilizer in this plant a liquid organic fertilizer in this plant just about three days ago 
and it's doing really well. Only one correction I had to make is I had this plant in the um, plant stand right behind um, the rest of the plants and it was too close to my grow light and as you can see it was getting a little sunburned, a little sun skull. So I made an adjustment and just decided to set it on the table and it's been doing really well. You can see a lot of the new growth right here. It's not sun skull anymore. So as you're trying or attempting to grow food indoors, monitor it closely, especially, especially if this is your first attempt and make the course adjustment along the way. Uh, celery, again, needs 130 and 140 days to maturity and to harvest. So I'm gonna be babying these plants for the next four months because I'm really excited to determine if I can grow celery indoors and if I can produce a quality crop. As you can see, this particular one has only been in the water for a week and it already has new growth. And then um, this particular one is about three weeks old and look at all the new growth. However, I am not going to plant this is because I don't think it has enough roots. And from my experience in growing celery, regrowing celery from the celery stock is you have a better transplant success if the, um, the base of the celery is, it has enough roots on it. So the plant can take, um, can, 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 um, be transplanted successfully as this one here it by the time I transplanted this one I had a mass of roots all at the base but to keep this part of the celery base from rotting I made sure that I kept that water change at least every two weeks make sure you use an organic potting soil and after five months the uh, the celery Sprouts would have grown into a celery stock and should be ready to harvest. So I wanted to share my adventure with you on this new challenge and try to determine if I'm able to grow a celery to full maturity indoors. And that would be for the next four months. This one was started in the beginning of November 2020. This was started three weeks ago. This was started a week ago. I eat a lot of celery. I make a lot of uh, celery juices. And so I hate throwing away the celery base. So I just root it in water. And since it is winter in zone 5B, I wanna try to see how well I do in growing celery indoors under a grow light to full maturity. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe by the next <laughs> month I probably will have two more uh, celery base uh, from the celery stock because I just hate to grow hate to throw those away um, if I continue with additional the uh, celery stock base maybe in February I would hopefully would be able to transplant it outdoors but we will see Wanted to take you along this journey, let you know what I'm attempting to do and deciding which plants do grow well indoors. Again, as this pandemic rages on, I, it would be nice to know what foods can grow indoors successfully and what foods may present a little challenge. If you're growing celery indoors or you have grown celery indoors to full maturity, please let me know and put your comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.